here we are in Crown Point. We're gonna go over the famous Champlain Bridge. So we're in New York and we're heading to Vermont. There it is, we made it to Vermont. Still got a few leaves on the trees over here. Now this would be a common sight in the state of Vermont, where you get stuck behind a manure spreader. But you don't really have to stay behind a manure spreader. Not when you're driving a turbo diesel, you know. So this is a nice little town in the state of Vermont. I think their claim to fame in Virgins is they're the smallest city, and you want to put that in the parentheses, in the state of Vermont. So it's basically a small town, but they are considered a city because they offer, oh, I don't know, whatever kind of services you have to be to be considered a city, I suppose. But it's a very nice town. Believe it or not, scenes like this in the state of Vermont are pretty typical. Um, this was probably even nicer a week or two ago because it was more colorful leaves on the trees. And as you can see, they're kind of dwindling, but it's still very nice. I'm sure there's other parts of this country that are as beautiful as Vermont, but in the fall, this one is certainly right up there in the top of my list. north and south thoroughfares in the state of Vermont, right in front of where I am, Route 7. Bring you up to Burlington, down into Rutland. I-89, 
State of Vermont, heading south. Snow on the mountains. November 1st. Sorry about the glare. Here we are heading down into Barry. Quite mountainous up in this part of Vermont. Again, I apologize for the glare off the windshield. And you can see the distance. Snow on the mountains. Beautiful fall day. That's a wide load. Here's something that you do see in the state of Vermont quite often. For a little state, this state is well covered by solar. But this has got to be one of the biggest solar farms that I've seen in this state. This is out in a, uh, basically a farmer's field in Ian. 